Welcome back, everyone, to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Tamo Kalova. And right now, we must talk about Kraft durch Freuden. As of today, the DAF has announced the creation of a subsidiary agency called the Kraft durch Freuden, or Strength to Joy. Under the direction of the KFD, the DAF will be able to grant generous funding already... Uh, to, oh, gr grant funding towards programs to expand the options of leisure for the German worker. Already certain towns and villages are being given giant state grants to build and renovate parks and leisure facilities such as sports centers, cinemas, and public restaurants. The KFD is also going as far as offering benefits to working German families to incentivize them to take vacations to state-recommended locations both within Germany and without. While the KFD's goal is certainly ambitious, the DAF is hopeful that this will end up greatly expanding the options of leisure for the people, which was to help boost happiness, productivity, and loyalty. I bet the British don't even get government incentivized holidays to Sweden. Probably not. So now, we'll talk about this in just a little bit. We can't quite go back on the world stage just yet. And we can form our own faction, the Schall Pact, which sounds very Führerreich-ish. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> we need to go down here, basically, to basically be reborn, but... I'm going to wait to read this one, just because, well, let's just say it's uh, very Goebbels-esque. But, what if we want with the Breitpersbahn? The Breitpersbahn will interleague every corner of the German state and beyond, because we get more division speed, plus 20%, and you can build the Breitpersbahn network. So that sounds pretty cool, as we are still um, helping others across the world in their uh, revolutions, we'll say. For now, let's go ahead and maybe get some advanced carriers. It's 142 days, we might as well. We have seven research slots, something just... It feels just broken having seven research slots. It's not like this is Darkest Hour, uh, Hearts of Iron game. It was a mod of Hoi 2. But, my goodness, it is very nice. Alright, so not too bad. Uh, let's see, actually, you, oh, boys. Boys, boys, boys. Boys will sometimes be boys. Sometimes will be girls. Anyways, uh, military factories are not bad. We're going to continue just trying to expand as much of a ind industry as much as possible here. So, as long as we have enough time... We can do very, very well, very, very well building ourselves up until we actually have to fight enemies. So, 1939 tech, obviously, with this many research slots, it's going very nicely. So, naval doctrine, we're still doing that as well. So, yeah. Um, really, there's nothing else we could really do here. This is so ahead of time that I don't want to do it yet. 175 days is quite a bit. Naval stuff, well, I guess we get that one. We'll probably use some of that stuff too, so. Nice, get in there, get involved. Ah, uh, Maximilian Stolz, the fall of Shenyang. Oh, yeah, we sent volunteers to India, too, as well, last time, so. Oh, guys, why do you keep attacking like that? We should be getting... Yeah, look at that air XP, that's pretty nice. We did send soldiers down here just because the supply is pretty bad, I think, right? Uh, it might be really bad, yeah. I don't, I don't want to have too many supply issues. Can you guys actually win here? No, it doesn't look like you guys actually can. Yeah, just kind of hang out for now. Just don't get destroyed. You know, please, just don't get destroyed. Alright, let's see. Up to 77. Increase a little bit more. Slightly, slightly, slightly more. We'll get up to 200 eventually there. And after this one, we shall go with what? Hydroelectricity seems pretty darn cool. Nuclear attack. Well, lots of constitutionalist revolts in Brazil fails. Alright, so maybe we'll go to this one. Oh, Russian national state. They are everywhere, the inventors of Judeo-capitalism and Jewish snakes of lies, as the Zavok's daddy calls the Jewish bankers, but also international and German bankers. His economic anti-Semitism has, has reached new heights as he has recently ordered the mass arrests and executions of bankers and shareholders, Jewish or not. We lose some stability, it is what it is. And we are orange and red just because we are national Bolsheviks, as someone did say in the comments from yesterday. Um, some of you guys said you were playing this mod yourselves. And you guys have thoroughly enjoyed the Road to Morgan mod, especially with Papa Goebbels, so... Like I said in the last video, I'm really enjoying it as well, so... Can you guys actually win doing that? Seems a bit extreme that you probably won't be able to... maybe? Well, because it... Oh, wow. Um, also, they got back to... They actually pushed into Canada. They got back to Troy, apparently, too. Go figure. Wow. The CSA, even when they're getting attacked by Canada, they're pushing into New England. They took over New York City. They pushed into Canada, too. I mean... Oh, men among men. It was a cold morning in West Germany at one of the various RR officer training facilities. The sun is shining over the horizon as the fog disperses with most moist grass gleaming in the sunlight. It would be an idyllic day had it not been one for the hardest training days for the next generation of Germany's elite officers. A group of candidates armed with shovels stand on the hard dirt 
in a field as their superiors watch. Then they are given the orders to start digging a ditch for them to lay down in. The catch is that a tank on the other side of the field is about to start driving towards them. Should they dawdle, they will be run over. Should they run, they will be shot. The time starts, the tank begins its approach. The candidates frantically dig the hole as the tank approaches ever closer. One brave candidate directs the others to dig in certain areas and encourages them to dig for their lives no matter how tired their bones may get. One tries to run as the tank near nearly arrives and is expectedly shot from a tower. The brave candidate directs his fellow companions to dig harder, to ignore the weak coward who ran for himself rather than help the many. As the tank arrives near near mere meters away, the ditch is complete, and the brave candidates ensure that every man hops in before he does. As the tank passes over, the exercise ends. When the superiors come down to congratulate the candidates, they give particular praise to the brave candidate who led his men with courage, and who had put them before himself. If Jeremy produces more men like this, it is a bright future indeed. Also, right now, what are we doing? Oh, what happened to these guys? Austrian federal state. Why are you my color? You're part of the Russian faction. Oh. Man, when we have to fight the Russians, which we'll probably have to do, so... That's not going to be easy, but that's alright. We do have a little bit more naval XP. Actually, I went ahead and started trying to produce some more uh, carriers, so... Wait. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so we have 26. Maybe not. So, I'd say we wouldn't do this, but we might as well, since I did double-check this, and it, this is looking pretty god-awful. But we have enough for this, so that's good. There you go. Boom. 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 Uno, uno. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. That's fine. We have enough convoys for now. And actually, we could use, honestly use more naval training, so... Keep it up, guys. Well... Maybe not everyone. Now that should save us a lot more fuel. Uh, I doubt we have enough planes for everybody here already, so actually that's not too bad to get right now. Anything else close air support would be pretty good. But we've got to save that for the volunteers that we send out to other people in the world, so. Cool. Happy October 1st. Tanks would be nice. Oh, look at this. Construction of the... Lines. Okay, that's not bad. Infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. A lot of infrastructure. I love it. And we're doing the Volksempfanger. Oh, construction of the Berlin-Danzig-Königsberg line. I like that one. But let's go do the Berlin-Nürnberg. Munichburg. Why not? Because we can. Alright, so how are we looking? The Irish are down here helping these guys out. Okay. New Zealand's gone. Goodbye, New Zealand. I wonder if we could beat up the Irish here. Yeah, might be able to. How are our planes doing? Azerbaijan's gone. Goodbye, Azerbaijan. There you go. Get more fighters in there. And we have nothing but fighters. Oh. Huh. I should have sent some ground troops then. Well, you guys are sucking. Most because they sent another division in there, but whatever. <clears throat> Goodbye, White Ruthenia. Goodbye. Ah, and then we shall do Night of the... Despite all of our advances to establish a society that has merged with party orthodoxy in the state, there still remains of our rivals, especially around the leadership. <clears throat> well, we will see for how long. We lose more stability, manpower, a couple of people die. Yeah, that's all right. That national daddyism gets increased. We took St. Louis. Wow. Yeah, the CSA isn't o OP, man. Like, they're still holding on and pushing. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that. The French state and... Is that the American Union state or something? <clears throat> What's happening to my voice? Oh, boy. That would not be very good. Everyone, bye-bye. Cool. Hmm... Cavalry Panzers, 39, 41, um, that shouldn't be too bad to get. Let's go have some improved artillery. It's pretty easy to get, so. Uh, it's not looking good, guys. Guys. Oh, right. ooh, ooh, we got some more. Nice. All right, let's see. Chief of the Air Force, we can get that in a little bit. Let's see. Fighter manufacturing. Agility is so good for fighters, and just planes in general. Production cost is nice, but I'd rather have some more agility than anything else. Uh, generic fire company? No, we want Web Albatross. And how's India looking? 
Well, they're looking okay. If you actually attack here, you could probably actually win. That'd be kind of good. And... How St. Louis? Uh, is there anywhere else we could send these guys, maybe? Eh, to the feds. Maybe the Canadians. Or maybe just against American Union State. Because they're not doing too much down here. Oh, can you actually win down there, man? Can you actually win? You actually might be able to win. Can you help support the attack, maybe? You might win. You probably won't. Are they doing the last stand? They might be. Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, that's green. Doesn't mean the number's going up, though. Ah, uh, you'll win here, and then you could probably win here if you send the tanks. Der Volksempfanger. Across Germany, many households are being given free radios or at ones at significantly marked down prices. This new mass-produced radio, named the Volksempfanger, is expected to bring the entertainment and essentials of the radio into the homes of every German. From UFO radio shows to the last music, and even from the latest state news to speeches from the Volksführer himself, the new radio is expected to boost the morale of the average German household across the country. It also serves as a means of indoctrination, as the radios only broadcast state-mandated programming, which may or may not be so subtle in spreading the NMDVP's ideas into the subconscious of the German within his own home. Living room size fun for the whole German family. Ah, uh, we care about the German worker here. Yeah, I, I have to play as a CSA sometime. Holy crap, they seem really not weak. Alright, and Ang Haltelaga. The list of our enemies and dangerous elements of society has grown to an extent that our prisons are overcrowded. There's also the problem that most of these people never saw a court, and simply have been arrested without charges which throws a rather unpleasant light on us and the public. To solve this problem once and for all, the Volk's daddy has commanded that all political prisoners be transferred to the newly constructed Anhaltlager, which is just outside the regular judicial system. Nice. Oh, you're actually getting attacked. Good that. Yeah, these guys, the anarchists here, or the CNT, maybe not anarchists, but the CNT, doesn't seem super great right now. But the Vox Fenze. Vox Fenze. Sure, why not? Which Fenze? Is that TV or bicycle? Uh oh, my apologies for the loud noises. Oh, what the heck? Are they not? Are they connected? It doesn't look like they are. You took out part of Armenian Azerbaijan, and you can't reach them. How very Turkish of them. All right. Cool. Yeah, they're doing really well against these guys, so we'll see what happens. We need more manpower, we need more guns, and we're actually doing better on artillery, finally. Support equipment is actually looking really good now. Incredibly good. Naval bombers are going to need a lot of that as well. Direct ground support is very good. Fighters will be good to get. Yeah, we need definitely more fighters. And tanks. We want medium tanks. Donnerschlag. That's the case. Go down by five, so we can get some of these guys going as well. Because we're going to need way more artillery, because 40 combat with infantry. I don't trust the Russians, so let's go with this one. Formation fighting, I think it's just usually better. Not always, but usually. Oh, look at that. That's a few too many guys. Alright, let's grab another general. And you should be led by... Oh! RR officer. Wunderbug. As part of the Bewaffnet RR, the fully militarized wing of the RR. Ah, ah. Wow, who are you guys? Richard Bear? Bittrich? Blomberg? Klüschel? Hamel? Nice. Very cool. Oopsie. My bad, my bad. And there's a lot of teachers. Oh, who's this? SS Gruppenführer. Volksturm, the paramilitary wing of this. Horst. Cool. He's politically connected, which I don't like. Uh, Karl Kreuz. Kreuz. I know he's a panzer leader, but we don't have that many, you know, groups for, that can lead panzers right now. Alright, not bad. Alright, I don't have enough army XP for this, but we can probably start duplicating this. Uh, is this one better or that one better? Uh, we'll do this one. Cool. Uh, just go and throw on two, three, four. Nice. We'll start trying to get some of these guys going then. Nice. Train if you need to. As well as you guys. We're going to need more XP. Army XP. You guys actually might be able to attack and win there then. Which would be nice. It would be very, very nice. Still so much air XP. 
Okay, this, look, look, look at the CSA. Look how well they're doing. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. They're surrounded on all sides and they're still doing so well. <laughs> oh my goodness. India, how are you doing? India, India, India. Oh, you can do that too. That's fine. Well, we're definitely national populist. Which I usually don't play national na national populist in, as far as I if, I, if I know correctly, in, um, you know, Kaiserai, Kaiser Redux, Kaiser, whatever it might be. Four days, not bad, not bad. And after that, mobile defense will go with disperse support. No, I, don't, I never go down this way. It's not, just usually not as good. I like the organization that gives you, which is pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. All right. And then, Germany Revolve. Germany has been reborn like a phoenix risen from its own ashes, and we stand triumphant. We get way more political power, monthly population, weekly stability, just five Wurgos times. It's all very good stuff. All very good stuff, my friends. Can you actually up attack there? 65, 60 something? Maybe, maybe not. But it's almost 1940, which is very nice. A day in Munich. Hungary's joining the Entente. Okay, then. I'll uh, just go on hold for now. We don't want too many losses. <clears throat> in the meantime. Oh, you guys have actually started wrapping this up a little bit better. Nice job, guys. Uh, I'll spread you guys out a little bit more. But a day in Munich, hey? The city of Munich is home to many happy German inhabitants. One such inhabitant is a 12-year-old boy named Rudy. Rudy lives with his older sister, Lisa, and his younger brother, Klaus. His father's been a bureaucrat of the NMDVP. Since he fought with them during the revolution against the Kaiser and his mother, a proud homemaker who tended to the wounds of the revolution's heroes during the bloody struggle. On an early Saturday, both Rudy and Lisa were given money to buy fresh fruit and bread from the market for the household, a task the two especially enjoyed. In the open market where flags the new Germany flew, the shoppers and shopkeepers greeted each other with salutes and Heil Goebbels before completing their transaction and waving farewell by doing the same. Rudy and Lisa became accustomed to this. After all, it seemed only natural to thank the man who brought them prosperity anyways. As they were returning home from the market, something caught Rudy's eye. A poster on a wall depicting three rats holding individual bayonets in Germany exclaimed that the daggers of Germany shall threaten us until destroyed. The first rat wore a beret and mustache, the second a pickled halba with the big red lips. And the third had curly hair and an elongated nose. <laughs> Rudy knew immediately what they were. The deceitful French, the treacherous Kaiser in Africa, and the scheming Jew. His blood shot up and his face began to run red with anger. He stood there wishing the destruction of the enemies, jealous of the new Germany and her prosperity. As he so called for him to continue, Rudy knew immediately that he wanted to be what he wanted to be in the future, a soldier that pointed the bayonet back at the three rats. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Cool. Wow, that's very strong. Oh, but what happens if we're back on the world stage? Now that we've rebuilt our glorious nation, you can finally be a major power in the world politics again. Great! We need more military factors, but we need more civvies as well. And actually, we could use some more of this as well. Uh, this, 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 this. Radar. I love, love, love radar. Every corner of Germany should have a radar immediately. So we have, have intel on our enemies. Uh-oh. Peace conference. Who died? Oh, who cares? Uh, more carriers? Oh, advanced carriers. Ooh. Uh, since you guys don't have carriers yet, I'll throw you in there. And we got the carrier done in 1940. Great. So we're going to keep working with whatever we have here. We need more cruisers and destroyers. So we're going to go with capital armor for now. And since we got that thing done, well, advanced carriers, improved carriers, goodbye. One, two, three. You didn't even make any. Which is totally fine, whatever. Uh, oh, yes, please. More hangar space. Please, 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 please. Better engines. Oh, but we need. Oh, God dang it. We need bigger PP. Or more XP, not PP. Very good. Jonesboro. Can we actually win there? Maybe, maybe not. Alright, so we got that. Let's get some planes as well. Planes are incredibly important for the war effort. Oh, they have two divisions. Why is it going up and down all the time? This is very weird. Alright, naval stuff. Um, What do we have? Carrier? Oh, that'd be so good. More max speed. More armor on the capital ships. I love capital ships. Deck size. I love having a big old deck size. <clears throat> Cruisers. Oh, either this one. The range is not bad, but you're limited by other ships probably. Light, heavy attack, but deck size. Every single one of our task forces should have a carrier. And if you have a carrier, you should have more than enough of an air force. So we're going to go with this one. Wilhelmshaven. V-E-B. Wilhelmshaven. Yes, please. You have just enough strength to get in there. Hopefully you have enough organization too. Very good. Oh, there we go. Now we, now we can do this. Thank you very much. And more hangers. Actually, we can't do anything there, right? Yeah, no, we can't. That's fine. 
since we don't have any other cap uh, other ships really at all really to do anything so do that that's fine we're going to need more military factories too because we're looking pretty darn good right now but still nice we could do force defense but i don't really feel like doing that yet oh i got the divisions in there we'll see what happens india how are you doing Afghanistan was gone. Jesus, Russia is very, very aggressive right now. <clears throat> Incredibly aggressive. All right, so you guys should be mostly done down here. Yeah, you guys are. Um, you don't have that much range. You can help out a little bit up here, but we definitely need another air base around here. And then for the syndicates, oh, you guys are still there. But the anarcho syndicalists, you're all just kind of hanging out. Very cool. Nice. Sure, why not? Back on the world stage, my friends. Isolate the French. Fortify the border. Yeah, let's do that one first. In preparation for the upcoming conflicts, we must secure our current national borders with heavy bunker complexes. Very good. All right, 40s. Because I want to. When we go to war with Russia, it's going to be a big old pain in the booty, probably. So, I just want to make sure our guys are completely fully ready. So, with those guys, that'll be good. Get some cruiser hulls. Thank you very much. And destroyers. Ooh, there's so much to research. So much to research. So little time. Get some better cast. They do have three divisions out. Uh, oh, yeah, you're probably not going to win there. Wait for him to leave and then we'll attack again. Oh, you guys got encircled. These guys still might lose the Spanish Civil War. You should be able to win this one, though. Should. Do we blow up all the enemy's planes yet? No, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, we lost Jonesboro, but that's all right. I mean, we were pushing into Maryland. Earlier, we didn't even have Maryland. They lost that little piece of Canadian territory, which kind of sucks for them. Actually, how many divisions do they have? Oh, it's not much, but they're doing okay. Yeah, they're holding. They're just they're just holding so well. Like, my goodness, my giddy aunt. Jeez. Nice. Get that one done first. Good, 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 good. Anything else here? Nope. That's fine. Development of the Volksfernseher. A handful of German electronics plants and laboratories, NMDVP, is giving special attention and funding to the creation of a radically new invention for home entertainment. Named by the party leadership and the R&D labs as the Volksfernseher, this new device uses a cable transmission and radio signals to project images on a screen along with audio. While the current product is still in an early stage and expensive to produce, it hasn't stopped the upper echelons of the party leadership from installing this visual radio in their own homes. Currently, there are only two channels on the Volksfernseher, one for news and one for entertainment, which mostly consists of live music performances in the various UFA studios. Not to mention getting a decent signal for the Volksfernseher. It's difficult, as there isn't sufficient civilian telecommunications infrastructure to support it. Despite the early shortcomings of the first few models, the N NM, DVP is confident that with more funding and attention that even the Volksfernseher might be able to overtake the radio one day. A truly interesting time for technological advantage. Papa Gerbos loves his people with all these advantages. Or new technologies, too. I'd rather lose this style and help defend here. Never mind. At least we're defending. Slovenia's capitulated. Goodbye, Slovenia. Tanks, yes, please. Armor, heart attack. Armor's usually pretty good to get. More soft attack, though. That's pretty nice. Reliability is not bad. Armor and speed. And I'll go with breakthrough and speed. I love breakthrough, too. Are these doing force defense? No, they're not. That'd be kind of wild, but though they were. How are we doing over here? How much has really changed and how's India doing? Jaipur? You might be able to do well there. Just doing a little bit of damage. Not great, but not bad. Oh, uh, what are we missing? Ah, uh, spot of rubber, that's not bad. <clears throat> and then fortify the border. Red Imperialism, more political power, monthly population, consumer goods, factories goes down by 15%. More research speed. And the last war we lost all. 
fathers, sons, brothers, husbands, land, colonies, and her pride. It is time to force the German footprint on the world once again. Germania plan? Ooh, tackling the question. It is no secret that Goebbels and the NM DVP has little love for the Jews, being seen as foreign and responsible for the root of the suffering of the German workers since the Middle Ages. The Volksdaddy and the party leadership have been, have been harassing Germany's Jewish population since their ascension to power recently. The regime has been wrapping up efforts to tackle the question of the Jews within Germany. To complete this task, Goebbels has signed off on the creation of the Central Organization of Jewish Affairs, acting as a subdivision of the RR, staffed by RR members with extensive knowledge on Judaism, with some even going far as to speak Hebrew fluently. The division is expected by the regime to come up with plans to drive the Jewish population out of German lands or at least isolate them. Already, plans are detailing agreements with the local governments within Madagascar and the Levant to accept Jewish emigrants, along with the logistics for emigrating Jews to those lands are already starting to be drafted. Along with this comes plans of concentrating urban Jewish populations in walled-off ghettos within those urban centers, even with suspected coordinated harassment and attacks on the VR to give extra encouragement for the Jews to leave. Obvious. Uh, human rights concerns have come up over these alleged plans, with many governments accusing the NMDVP's actions of being depraved and vile, with even some of Germany's allies raising concerns in private. However, it is unlikely that these objections will change much, if anything, over the course of Germany has decided to take with its Jewish population, and so the Dysporia find themselves persecuted once again. It is what it is. Oh, well, up against the French, that'd be really good. The Bohemian border. Let's do the French first. Fighting a two-front war has always been Germany's uh, problem. Always been a problem for Germany. Always, 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 always. So, we got to make sure we got enough walls. Mm, actually, okay, just go do all these then. They're international. Really, I want to focus on the Russians. I think I want to focus on the Russians first. Oh, Sevenkov. Yeah, he's got a lot of manpower, even without with just being a limited conscription. So, I want to focus on him first, but we'll see what happens. 40s, how you doing 40s? Nice. These 40s are almost perfectly done. So, where are you guys at? So you guys are, uh, make this your last batch. Uh, we can't auto apply them. One, two, three, four. Fours, go they. Actually, you know what, you know what, you guys are not done. You'll do that one. You guys get one more done. There you go. And then you guys actually go right here. Because I want to focus on the on the Russians first, like I said, so. That'll be good. You guys train if you need to. Uh, Vrunchet is actually really cool because he has both offensive and defensive, so which is really, really nice. Nice. How do they get more manpower? I, I don't know the anarchists here, or the CNT. I keep calling it anarchists. I have no more manpower. Oh, well, they do have a little bit. They're on extensive conscription. They're on scraping the barrel, and these guys are on limit extensive conscription. So, this has been an extremely bloody French, French, Spanish Civil War. How are we doing here? Uh, actually, you guys might be able to take Agra if you help out. Maybe. Don't worry about taking Delhi, guys. That's... Oh, there goes Poland. Good luck, Poland. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with that for now. Oh, Poland's not looking very good. Uh, can we send volunteers? I don't mind sending some volunteers maybe to Poland. Just because I want to slow down the Russian advances for now. Mm. Von Blomberg. Nope. I want to slow down the Russian advances. Even though I don't mind Poland dying. Which means we don't have to worry about them, you know, fighting us. I'll uh, go and do that one. Any of your support? Nice. Let's grab some of that. Regimental combat teams. Actually, do we have enough planes yet? We, we definitely don't have enough planes. Uh, Cass is nice. Yeah. Go and start training those guys. Uh, ooh. Another carrier? Very nice. Very, 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 very good. Ooh, we need some more shipping. We need more dockyards. And nothing there yet. That's fine. Next technology will be done hopefully very soon. Red Imperialism. After Red Imperialism, we'll probably isolate the French. We should try to draw as many members of the vile French Third International into our new faction to weaken the French power base. Hopefully that doesn't put us at war with anyone else, though. That'd be very bad. I got more army XP. Actually, maybe we should send Attaché from Army Exercises is nice. Revolutionaries, Revolutionaires Regiment. Maybe we can send one to the CSA, because they probably have a ton, 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 ton of XP. Um, go ahead and do that. Are you guys you guys aren't 40 combo with? No, you're only 20s. Um I'm gonna convert you immediately. Where are you guys getting it? Oh, that is really bad up there. I don't trust this side either, so we're gonna go like here. There you go. 
Good. Oh, Goebbels can lead him yourself? That is an honor to be led by Goebbels. You can go offensive with this guy. And I said the French. Germania plan? We'll go with that one. And we're going to need logistic companies pretty much immediately. If we have them, do we have them research yet? Oh, please tell me we do. We don't. Oh, my bad. My bad. We only get 3.44 political power every day. My goodness, that is insane. Come on, guys, keep moving. Absolutely nuts. Uh, let's go ahead and raise the conscription level, because we're going to need more manpower soon. I guess still attacking for this. Oh, there goes Lisbon. Goodbye, Lisbon. Let's look at Mahadis Revolt. Goodbye, Mahadis Revolt. Hello. Goodbye. Whatever it is. Good, good, good. Alright, let's so get that done. We get carrier fighters and then logistic companies. Don't want to forget that, because 40 combat with without logistic companies is asking for just so many problems, especially if you want to fight Russians in Russia. Even these guys might lose, we're still getting a lot of army XP, which is very, very nice. Um, garrisons, that stuff. What else can we throw on here? Actually, we have more than enough light tanks, right? Th give them some recon. There you go. That should be very nice. Nice. Oh, we actually have more than enough air XP, so we might as well use it. Good, good, good. Close that out. Good, good. Nice. Good, 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 good. Oh, we have cruisers. Oh, I didn't realize we had cruisers. Nice. That's actually very good. So we got that one done. We can do this stuff, but I'm going to get keep working on our naval stuff here. Because I don't want to produce a cruiser yet until we get advanced light guns. Just yet. Is there anything else here we need to care about? Not really. Keep up and out. You guys are doing a great job. How are the Polish volunteers doing? Are they getting attacked yet? Is there anything going on that we should really be concerned with? Um... Just in case, even come down even further. That's fine with me. Just because we want to help hold the entirety of the line if, if needed. Oh, they're getting attacked from this side. God dang it. The Russians themselves aren't the problem. It's a checks. Oh, baby. That is not good. We got plenty of artillery, though. That's actually really, Oh, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Wow. Don't worry about building up that infrastructure. Because we're going to get it done anyway, so. Uh, that's the case. Build some dockyards, too. And then some more military factories. That'd be good. We need more millies. We got a good amount of medium tanks. Not bad. Plenty of motorized. Plenty of that. Plenty of that. Plenty of that. We need more um, other things here, too. Refineries. Uh, 60, 60, 60. There's a lot of 60s here. Do that. There you go. Now getting attacked. Get some more army XP. Come on, guys. Keep getting. Keep sucking on it. Very good. Very nice. Uh, strike France, pressure Dayat. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Destroy the Entente. Strike France, purge world revolution. <clears throat> Embargo France, red colonialism. Germania plan. We'll start the first phase of the Germania plan to unify all Germans. Very cool. Anything else here? Try to make the Norwegian Le Union leave the French on their own. Okay, that's kind of cool. Invite them into our little stall pact. That's kind of cool, yeah. Serenica? I'm not sure they're really that strong. Um... To subvert the third international and stir up French puppets. I'd like to do that, but the, my problem with that is that it might force us to go to war with other people that we don't want to go to war with yet. So, I think we'll wait to do that stuff. I mean, in the end, we can just kill them all anyways. And by the German Wokas Republic? Austrian. Oh. Okay, Primacy, Fall of Warsaw. That's not good. Got some more of that, too. Ooh. Oh, Poland, no, Poland, no. Oh well, it's gonna be one mammoth front we're gonna to have to have. If we can steal all the Austrians away from them, that'd be pretty, pretty nice, I'd say. Infrastructure still coming along. Um, yeah. How about Austria? Invite Austria. See what happens. We're gonna need some more divisions here. Uh, 
Are you guys not on the same faction? You should all. Yeah, you're all literally in the same faction, so. Here's what we gotta do. Oh, mammoth front line. The first war we'll have to go to. The first war we're gonna get involved with will be against the Russians, probably. Because I definitely don't wanna fight the Third International, which they're probably honestly not too strong right now. But I don't wanna have a peace conference with the Entente, so. Oh, wait, we don't, we don't own Vienna. How far do we go? It's kind of hard to tell. Something like that ish. So. Well, actually, give me half, you guys. There we go. We're going to need a lot of commanders for this. Um, Von Monstein, there you go. And Scavenger would probably be okay for us now. There you go. And good. Still good. Still very good. Anyone, everyone has orders, right? Everyone has orders. Yes, they do. That's very, very good. I guess we can't invite Austria. That sucks. Eh, it is what it is. Whatever. Still mobilizing a little bit more, hopefully. And that's 200. Let's do this one. More infrastructure. That's very good. Nice. More industry. More industry. Just so much industry here. Oh, I keep spending political power, but we need to... Oh, our soldiers are back. Invest in getting attaches. Which shouldn't take too long to get, but whatever. They're still pushing down into West Virginia. That's nuts. How are we doing over here? We still find... Oh, we got Agra. That's kind of nice. Can you guys help out here, maybe? That'd be kind of nice, too. Oh, did they get an airbase? No, they did not yet. Darn it. How's Spain looking? Well, they def it feels like they're on the retreat a little bit, which is not good. I guess actually might be able to help out. And do well there, maybe. Maybe not, maybe. Yes, yes. I'm just biding my time, trying to not go to war just yet. I didn't destroy. Very nice. Let's grab some of that. Combat unit destruction. We got something else down here, too. Let's keep going for more naval stuff for now. Let's see. That's cruiser. Cruiser. Depth charges. Sonars. Radars, stuff like that. Just in case. Nice, you guys got that. That's not too bad. You guys are probably actually help out right here, too. Good for you. Good for you. There goes Greece. Becca. Good, good, good. <clears throat> you actually, with a little bit of support, can actually probably take those guys out. Sink it volunteers over here, not doing too much. Advanced like guns are good. At this point, we're gonna start making this as well because we can. And get some smoke generators. No, let's grab some of that. Forty-seven naval XP, not bad. And we will get some rapid fire guns. Escort cruiser four. Wow, that's pretty good. Anti-air. Fire control. Nah, we're gonna go with sonars, just in case for enemy subs. We should have enough naval XP for this. But we'll see what happens. Well, actually, we might not. Yeah, we're not going to. Wow, that sucks. Uh, go with more rapid fire guns, escort cruiser batteries. And we'll go with this stuff, too. Not bad. Cool. We don't have enough yet. Are we still training our soldiers? Yeah, technically we are, so that's pretty good. Oh, library's gone. Done with that. Oslin? Cl claims on the Slavic lands. Red colonialism, German colonialism. Rival governments. Germanen? Westwood. Westwood, huh? How about Oslin? After the unification of all Germans, we will now start to conquer, incorporate, and settle all the eastern lands that were once home of the Germanic tribes. Hopefully. In time. Oh. Better planes, maybe? Yes? Uh, good, 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 good. Alright. Ace pilot promoted, very good. At this point, let's come back over here, and all you guys... Let's become 40s. We actually going to need way more guns, look at that. Look at that. There you go. Do that for now. You're going to need way more guns. 200 days is not bad, but... If we're going to fight the entire Russian, like, group... That's going to be pretty nuts. Oh, text... Ooh, we can text Switzerland. Are they guaranteed by anybody? Hmm. That would hurt our ability to help out the people we've already sent volunteers to. Hmm. Even though the CSA is looking pretty good without us, so... Hmm. Indians, Totos Indians, not doing too bad either. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not.
Oh, we can actually core them. That's kind of cool. Regiment of combat teams. Let's grab some of that. Mechanized offensives. Oh, they have... Italian's down there. Okay, let's see. CSA, let's help you out. Oh, come on, guys. How about India? Anyone? Does anyone want our attaché? Coming to France? Seriously, guys. Man. Does no one like national populists? Actually, we kind of like Russia. Or they kind of like us. So... Ooh. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste then. How about the Qing Imperial Authority? Yes? No. You guys? Yes? No. God dang it. Wait, whatever. So we could, could go to war with them. I kind of don't mind doing the Swiss, though. I guess we could try the Swiss first, maybe. Oh, look at that. There's a little... No divisions there, huh? The Fall of Washington. That looks pretty good. For now, three guys over here, too. Can you guys all bunch up down here and just start going to town with the Swiss? That'd be kind of nice. Oh, baby! There goes USA and the Western Command Center. Wow. Wowzers. Alright, let's get... Uh, actually, I don't use that stuff. That stuff is okay. We're getting that stuff. That's actually not too bad. We're already done with that stuff. Wow. Keep doing that stuff as well. Light your poles. You can grab some of that, too. And we'll get some battleships eventually. Just not yet. Did you guys actually win down here? No, you're already losing, so... No point to help out when they're losing like that. Chief of the Air Force, get air superiority. I like... It. Ooh, more ground attack, though. And more ground support. I don't... You know what? I always go with air superiority. You should actually be able to win right there. We're gonna need a little bit more fuel. Hmm... Nice. And then, oh, strike France, embargo France, German plan, Germanin. After the unification of all Germans, we will now start to conquer and incorporate all Germanic neighbors and territories into one nation. Into our nation. Oh, you're actually getting attacked? Good. Keep it getting attacked. Yeah, no one wants to... Nobody wants our attaché. Makes me sad. Oh, that is very green. I just don't want to attack R Russia when we're not really ready to yet. You know? We don't have enough... Well, we didn't have enough guns for a while. Are we still mobilizing? We are not. 250 guns a day is not bad. 33 XP. Okay, so we have our panzers here. Go ahead and just make them medium tanks, all of these guys for now. Or actually, how many medium tanks do we have? Uh, 940. Make these guys 40 combo with then. If we can. We won't have enough army XP for this just yet. That's fine. It doesn't look very good, but whatever. We'll get enough army XP soon enough. And attack... Oh, Galicia, Poland. Logistics... Good. 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 You guys should be able to just... March straight on in and just destroy them. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, where is it? We have you guys. We have you guys too. There you go. Good luck. You should be relatively okay. And we want to core the stuff as soon as we can too. Kind of nuts. Attacking with this many divisions. What if you force the attack? Oh, now, of course, our, our soldier's coming back. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I guess whatever. And, you know, at this point, we might as well just try to go to war with the Russians then. Wait, why are you guys not lined up here? Active sonar. Oh, there goes French state. Wow, that's really bad for those guys. Uh, let's go to the next. That's good. So you guys will all be on here. We'll take the other army to help hold as well. That won't be too bad. Yeah, at this point, we'll just go to World Russia then. Chief of the Navy. Let's grab the army here. We're using mostly infantry, so division... Uh, division. Well, less supply consumption, more defense. I should have went with the more organization one, but whatever.
Alright, so all the soldiers are back home now. Sorry everyone across the world, but it is what it is. Um, you guys go right there, because you guys, except for you, are going to go right there. You're all infantry, infantry. Thank you very much. Thank you for playing. There you go. We could definitely use more tanks. Alright, oh, look at that. We got our own army XP too. Finally. Alright, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Probably out of... Eh, not too bad, actually, for medium tanks. It's quite laggy now, wow. What happened? Falkers? I love the Falkers. Oh, anti-air. Anti-air, good. Naval bomber's good. Where's the... Uh, there you guys are. Good. And throw you guys over here when you guys are ready. Or it doesn't really matter, I guess. I go go right there. That's good. I don't care what the losses are like against uh, Switzerland. So nice. Second Russo Japanese war. Very good. Fall of New York City. All right. And. Uh, embargo France. I want to leave the French alone for now. Let's go ahead and do some kickstart new oil research. Or kickstart new oil industry. We'll adopt the synthetic oil production methods developed by the Union of Britain to sustain our fuel consumption by coal liquefaction. Nice. Fuel from refineries plus 75%. Capacity plus 40%. My goodness. We must be losing a lot of guys doing this. 18,000 versus 12,000. That's not good. How much manpower do they have? The Bush plan? Eh, quite a bit of manpower. That's fine. Whatever. Hey, we broke over the refinery. Uh, that's the end of them, then. That's that's literally the end. Force attack. Force them to die. Force them to die. Good. Four more divisions. Very good. Very good. Oh, we cut these guys all off. That's good. Good, good. Make them pay. Oh, they go Sweden. Wow. Finland's looking kind of thick. Of course, I think they're in the Russian faction, right? Our colors are too close to really associate with these guys. Brotherhood of Eurasia. Not bad. Yeah, we'll go to war with them next. Hungary is just... That's so weird. Hungary is by themselves over there, alone. So weird. But let's grab... Support companies. There you go. That'll be very good. Nice. Panzer divisions. You're going to need some maintenance companies. As well as logistics. Might as well grab that now. Good. All right, we no more army XP, so be it whatever. We got some more ground support too. These guys should be giving up soon-ish. Hopefully. Oh, we can take the Netherlands. Ooh, are they in a faction? No, they're not. So I'm sorry it took me took us so long to go to war with these guys or pretty much anybody. Uh, we'll take the Netherlands and core Switzerland. Beautiful. All right, so for you guys, I want your main focus to be on Poland and the Russian state. Good. And actually, you guys stop training. Go and repair. We've got enough naval XP for now. It's not much. Oh, there goes Mexico City. Oh, Denmark. Is Denmark in a faction? If not, we can go to war with them too. Oh, they're, they're not. Nice. That's good. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad. Oh, look at that. Nice. More military factories. We could use more fuel. A few more dockyards as well. Nice. Uh, support equipment. Are we missing anything here yet? We will need more tanks. Like, Let's be real. We're going to need more tanks anyway. So go up to 20. And anti is not too bad, which we should put on our divisions. Overall, we're not looking too bad at all. So we're really pretty much primed and ready to go to war. Of course, we can use more fighters, though. Way more casts, too. These guys should do pretty okay even without us, so. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. Panzer's not too bad. 
kickstart new oil industry. Let's go and replace one of you guys with another medium tank. That's fine. With a project you're on. Uh, the special project you're on has a goal to find an application for a fizzle material, a source of electric, electric energy, as well as a weapon of yet unseen destruction. Very good. And we should be able to go to war very, 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 very soon. I want to get this one done next. That one up there. A quarter of these guys? Oh, yeah. You know what? Screw it. Luxembourg and Belgium? I love it. Do this area, guys. That'll be very nice. Uh, do anything out of date? No, just carry your holes. That's fine. <clears throat> that is okay with us. And these guys, these other carriers will be done soon. What's not to love? We should be e easily smashed with the Danish. And about a month, let's go and start doing that. And we'll end the episode hopefully eventually by um, going to war with the Russians. Den Haag. Very nice. This is a lot of Germans. Uh, you guys should all be the same, pretty much. Just going to become all 40 combo widths. Go and keep tra keep training, guys. You all need to keep training. Make sure you're all good. There you go. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we got enough supplies there. Very, very good. We're going to need more manpower, but that's okay since we're going other places, too. I mean, almost 80 divisions attacking these guys should be pretty good, right? And again, if we had better, more planes, it'd be really good as well. Naval bombers, um, more casts, maybe. Fighters, nice. Three thousand versus forty-nine thousand, not bad. Fockers, good. The convoy's been sunk. 1940 still. We're still working on this stuff. Um, let's go up. Actually, research speed. Nuclear research speed. Malta. All right. Another carry's been made. Great. So you're right there. Because that already has four. And you have, if you have more than four carriers, you get a penalty to the amount of planes you can deploy. Kind of sucks, but whatever. <clears throat> Deto Talakrig. Love it. Uh, you guys probably won't have enough. Just send one group of you guys up here. That should be more than enough to take out Denmark. That really should be more than enough. So now, I'm going to save this army for Austria. You guys come to Czechia, Czechia, whatever you want to call it. And then you guys come over here too. And concentrate yourselves right towards Reichenberg. Yeah, one army for them. That full army over there. That should not be too bad. And then you guys... Uh, you can double up on Austria, that's fine. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Yeah, let's get that one. Ooh, and Chief of the Navy. Subs. We're not using subs too much. Screens are okay. Sword efficiency for even extremely more... Uh, not extremely more, but more sword efficiency, which means the rate at which you can get your planes out. Um, air creator is not bad. Capture of attack and armor. I love that a lot. I love it, love it, love it. I usually go down that path, but since we have carriers for this Germany campaign, we'll do that one. Logistics 2 is very nice. Let's go ahead and grab <clears throat> Red Colonialism. We shall reclaim our place in the sun. Very good. Followed up with what? It is 1940, almost 41. Let's grab some more construction speed. Still building, 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 building. Okay, up next we definitely got to get some um, <laughs> more manpower. Look at that. That's really bad. Really bad. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, you guys can help speed on, on into Denmark too. Good. Should have done that a little bit earlier, but whatever. Oh, good duck yards. Good, 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 good. You guys still looking okay? Good, good, good. Grab some more anti-air. Loads of anti-air. Oh, anti-sub stuff too. would be very nice. Uh, radar 2 still. That's fine. Grab even more anti-air. I hate fighting enemy planes, so... There you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get three of these, actually. Which is kind of extreme, but whatever. So then it goes down to there. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Convoys go bye-bye. Another carrier? Great. There you go. Now we have four, three carriers in this group. That is quite a few carriers. Not going to lie. That's a lot of carriers. And well. Alright, so are you guys all good to go? You're all this. You guys should all be the same thing too at this point. Uh, I mean, except for you. You three. 
become 40 combo with except for you as well. <coughs> We're going to be out of... Oh, light tanks. Wow, look at that. Because <clears throat> we're going to have our guys train. After you go and start training, guys, you're going to need the time to come really strong 40 combo with, with divisions. So when we go to war with Russia, hopefully we can just kind of walk right on in, because even though we're going to need way more planes for this. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. 40 combo with advanced heavy holes. We need anti-air on these guys. Do we have enough anti-air yet? Yes, we do. Barely. We actually barely have enough. Oh, look at that. All right. Keep getting some battleships, too. Oh, I've got that, too. And they'll grab some armor on that, and make it really, really nice. And we'll get, of course, some more stuff, which is really good, too. Do we have to be peace for this? Yes, we do. That sucks. Oh, well. Ah, screw it. Do these. Just do them all. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. Oh, wait. Manpower. Whoopsie. All right. That's the case. Keep making way more of these things. We need way, 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 way more fuel. More, way more fuel. More gamer fuel. That goes Persia. Goodbye, Persia. Uh, do that area too, because you probably use that. Get some more air bases around here too. We're going to need them. Good. We're out of manpower, god dang it. That's not good. That's really, really, really not good. No, where are you guys going? Go, 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 go. Do not let them come back out. Nice. And grab some of that. Happy 1941, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Oh, boy. Come on, Von Lieb. Force them to die. Well, they're slowly dying. Hopefully we're expanding our conscription level, too. That'd be very good. Come on, just take Copenhagen. That's probably all you really need. Ah, that's all we need. See? Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Very good. Now, you guys immediately switch over to 40 combo with as well. Come down to Austria. Vienna will be ours, hopefully. And train. Everyone here is training. You guys, come on down too. And we could probably start cutting down on these a little bit more. Go to... Go to low. I think we'll have enough for now. Save a little bit on manpower for now too. We don't need these divisions anymore. Uh, that saved us quite a bit more manpower. Go down to 8. Oh, so we have a little bit more manpower. We're still mobilizing now. And let's just, I guess, court Denmark. I guess Austria's. Uh, I'm going to give it just a few more days before we do that. Rival governments. Oh. German colonies? There are still former colonies of the German Empire left that uphold the monarchist order. This cannot be tolerated any longer as it would undermine our legit legitimacy. Which is very good. Very good. Uh, anything else here? Just um, carriers. That's it. That's just pretty much it. We're running out of fuel. You guys stop training. Go home. You guys go home as well. In addition to that, we're going to need more fighters and stuff. So, military factories, please. Ooh, look at that. That's some manpower. Still mobilizing some more, which is good. Mm, actually, we might cut it down to four then. That's better. All right, you guys. You're looking pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. And Panzers, how many tanks do we have? We need more light tanks. we got plenty of this, so... So good enough, and we can make them all medium tanks. Good. Get some better uh, tanks right now too. Thanks. Thank you very much. Doing a schlag, and then some light tanks too to help offset that. Um, our I don't think our soldiers are just really quite ready yet. I don't think we have any upgrades either for us, do we? Skill four. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. Spear tactician. That's not too bad. Smoke screens consume. That's not terrible. You guys, Emil Schmidt. Well, actually, can I replace with anyone else? No, we cannot. Dang it. How about planes? Naval bombers. That's nice, but... How about over here? Oh, I just want to give our guys more than enough time to get... At least to become regulars first. Cast is nice. Good, good, good. Train. Because we need way more of an air force before we actually go to war. You guys... What are you guys doing? Lebanon, cool. Because none of these guys have planes, which is really a big problem for us. Fighters, Stukas. Uh, 
Oopsie. It's gonna combine them. Oh crap. Uh, just go merge them all. God dang it. Go to 400. That's fine. Cut, cut, duplicate. Happy guys go there. God dang it. Come on. Good. Good. I'm sorry I'm taking a while with this. It's just, we just need to have enough, you know, build up for this. Uh, let's grab some of that too. Oh, that's good. Because we're, we're way out of planes right now. Way, 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 way out of planes. Fighter's not looking good. Light tank's not looking that good either. If we make artillery, so we don't need to see that. Garrisons. Militia. There you go. Goodbye. Don't like seeing that. Cavalry's goodbye. Ah, that's good. We won't need them. Uh, up and Yega, maybe. Up and Yega, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Alright. I think we're done pretty much training. Give us a few more days, but let's go in and attack Austria. And let's go do this one, too. There you go. We should have coring Denmark soon enough. German colonies. Rival governments. We cannot tolerate any German government in exile, regardless of how far away it is from actual Germany. If it holds extra territorial power somewhere, then it is a threat no matter how big. Very good. So we'll go to attack Austria. Give us in about like three days, we'll start stopping. Well, we'll stop training our soldiers as much, which would be good. That'd be fine. Not too worried about tanks either. Support equipment's pretty good. Guns looking pretty darn good. We need a lot of guns to help, so. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. I'm just worried about planes. Uh, we're already on closed economy, which is not good. And you guys, let's grab one more of that. Thank you. Tungsten, eh? You need Burma? That's fine. Ah, let's go get a few more. Our industry's already pretty good, so. We only need quite a bit more manpower for this. Alright, let's stop training now. You guys have done a great job training as well. You're not quite there yet, but you should do relatively okay. Especially without the enemies having enough, you know, supply and such, so. What the? Game, why'd you do that? Um, was it Gerbils, I think? There you go. Okay, that's a little better. Oof. So you guys, hopefully just can kind of speed on through here and go down there. Live by Heinz. Christopher Salter is good. Panzer expert. Offensive. Oh. Nice. Just in time. Just in time. We're, out, we're running low on manpower. We're pretty normal. But what else do you expect? We can invite Finland. Uh, you know, we must. Okay, they're doing the straw pack. Not bad. Not bad, look at that. And these guys are actually national populists too, because the Finn are. So, not bad. That's pretty cool. And let's go and grab some more extraction, because we could probably use that. Who's not giving us our goodies? Oh, Indo Chinese Union. Please, Indo Chinese Union. Actually, that's not too bad. Deutsch Ostasian. Traitors to us, but whatever. We'll still use them if we need to, if we have to. You guys still training, which is fine. You guys go and start doing that stuff. That's fine. Are you all cast? Wow. There you go. Get the other army as well. You are four. You need five. And boom, boom. We'll go right there. Boom, boom. Yeah, we just need more planes. All right, well, it's time to go in. See what we can do. Well. Uh, sure, Japan. We'll do that. All right. We're going to need more, way more fuel, too. Got another carrier? Very good. Good luck, guys. We're going to need it, and let's go and start importing way more fuel. Venezuela. Let's cut them down. I'd rather do Persia. Start with 10, maybe. I know we're going to need way more, but that's okay. Alright, Poland. Let's go. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Everyone's going in, right? Good, good, good. Let the tanks go in, too. Uh, what is this, what is this like? 4,000 versus... Wow, they lost a quarter million. 110,000. Not bad, not bad. 
I don't think the Poles are really ready for this. And that's okay with us. The Austrians are giving us a run for, our, for the money. That's alright. Destroy Crete. Follow. Yeah, they definitely weren't ready for this. Now, were they? Cool. Very nice. 41. That's all stuff. That's done. Um, more artillery? Why not? No German... No Russian ships yet. Wow, this is... Very nice. Not sure what else to say about this. So far, it's very nice. Poland's gone. Great. I followed Burgos. Oh. The Civil War's still raging. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Alright, there goes those guys. Anything else we can just do just yet? No? Oh. We can go to war economy. We're still mobilizing a little bit more, which is nice. Rival governments? I mean, Austria's almost as good as dead now. Czechia. Okay, you guys are gone as well. Good. Um, at that point, um, I don't want to hurt our stuff like that. So maybe we'll go over here then. Maybe we'll see. Um, in the meantime, I guess we'll throw on some of this stuff, and you'll be the one that's left over. But we'll end it here just because tomorrow we will capitulate the Russians, which. We're doing quite well, but we'll probably have a bigger struggle against the Russians. Um, but yeah, we'll also maybe go to War Third International. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we are going to continue smashing a bunch of people to our east. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.